hello friends welcome to our youtube channel metallurgical engineering so today in this video we will see about the uh, detailed information about engineering stress strain diagram okay so as you can see in this figure that uh, stress is on the this y axis and strain on the x axis so we will see about uh, every term here what is this elastic region this uh, PL that is proportionality limit, EL elastic limit by S yes, that is yield strength or yield point. You should call it yield point, okay? By P. Then again, after this, this green curve is showing the plastic region. So first is work hardening, second is uh, the maximum load point that is UTS ultimate tensile strength, and next is knacking and then fracture. And here then the region is divided into two parts a part and b part so we will also see what is this uniform elongation and, and non-uniform elongation okay so let us see first point is suppose a so for defining a that is area covers elastic region elastic region which is basically important for resilience okay resilience of any metal okay so next b in which this area b area is for basically for toughness of material okay so these two terms are important in engineering station diagram a and b okay so this is uh, resilience and this is toughness okay so next we will move to the what is proportionality limit proportionality limit so initial departure from the linearity initial departure from linearity in the diagram we can see here that this point shows the initial departure the curve is now behaving like this okay so this is the proportionality limit next we will see about elastic limit so what is this elastic limit so the maximum stress that can be withstand any permanent deformation on removing the load okay so here and it is not easy to determine elastic limit because of dependent on strain rate measurement instrument okay so this is not easy to determine any uh, and this stress in curve but still just for a idea we can say this is the elastic limit here in this curve uh, from which if we unload the material if we unload so the material will uh, show no plastic behavior the complete elastic behavior okay next is yield point or yield stress okay so yield point basically it is yield stress okay so the usable elastic behavior is described by yield strength so it is defined as the stress 
which produces a small amount of plastic deformation that is permanent deformation so what is the small amount of plastic deformation so we can say 0.002 strain that is called the yield stress point okay like here up to here there will be a certain value of plastic deformation permanent deformation happened okay next we will focus on work hardening what is work hardening okay and uts then we will see so for work hardening it's a big concept itself but still i will explain in few terms here few words like work hardening when the plastic deformation starts when plastic deformation starts then number of dislocation increases number of dislocation increases due to activation of frank reed source okay so material resist plastic deformation and that is why stress value increases continuously you can see from the curve that the corresponding stress values are continuously increasing okay so next we will see about uts ultimate tensile strength so this corresponding to the strength obtained by maximum load condition maximum load divided by original area okay so this is the uts next we will see that uh, in this curve the uts is okay yeah one more point that uh, abrupt elastic plastic behavior so we will see also here elastic plastic transition elastic plastic transition so this phenomena is basically known as yield point phenomena okay and generally happened in the mild steel if you will see the stress strain curve of mild steel then you will find this yield point phenomena okay so here once again i will explain about the yield point so the continued deformation at some constant stress value okay is the yield stress of any material then this yield point phenomena happens in mild steel so we call it that uh, for low carbon steel which contains 0 0.015 percent of carbon this one happens okay okay so for some common material like uh, aluminium or steel it i'll just give some rough values for this uh, yield stress value that is 35 mpa and for steel maybe 1400 mpa okay 
नेक्स्ट द टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ वैल्यू टी एस सो फॉर एल्यूमिनियम इट कैन बी फिफ्टी एम पी एंड दैट इज हाई स्ट्रेंथ स्टील दैट इज अराउंड दिस इज ऑल्सो फॉर हाई स्ट्रेंथ स्टील दैट इज थ्री थाउजेंड एम पी ओके इन द स्टेस्ट एंड कर्व ओनली बाई एस इज साइटेड फॉर डिजाइन पर्पज दिस इज ट्रू इन स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन ओनली वी टॉक अबाउट बाई एस नॉट टी एस टी एस सो दिस इज वाई ओके दिस इज बिकॉज बाई द टाइम द स्ट्रेस एसोसिएटेड स्ट्रेस एसोसिएटेड विद टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ हैज बीन applied of an a structure has experienced too much plastic deformation so TS is of no use. Okay. Yeah. So this is the important thing. And uh, now we will come to the point uh, reason of bias to UTS. So the required stress for further plastic deformation. From bias to UTS, that is work hardening. Already I explained. So in this region, the formula works out. K epsilon to the power, and this is called power law. Okay. Yeah. And uh, if we if we call about elastic region, that is before this one. so in the elastic region it follows hooke's law so hooke's law means stress is directly proportional to actually we are talking about here engineering so i'll just say okay okay, okay we call it this engineering stress no problem engineering stress okay i defined here that is directly proportional to the strain value okay so there is some constant so this is called e that is elastic modulus and this is called proportionality constant also okay so till here we have seen that elastic uh, reason and this one is for the work hardening reason so this is all being shown in this uh, this one is for the elastic reason and uh, this, this is the power law reason where sigma is equal to k epsilon to the power n okay now we will see about uniform elongation which is reason a uniform elongation okay uniform elongation so this is the percentage elongation corresponds to maximum load is uniform elongation okay so this is about the uniform elongation this is the a reason already i have given here in this uh, engineering stress and curve we can see this is the a reason okay this is the non uniform elongation so here there is no uh, fixed uh, definition so we can say that this work hardening reason up to uts and up to nacking this is complete non uniform elongation okay now we will see few more facts that uh, strength of any material 
is determined by yield strength and tensile strength stiffness of a material defined by elastic modulus okay now we will see percentage reduction in area or percentage elongation that is ductility okay so this is all about the properties of a material okay one and uh, last thing is that elastic deformation and plastic deformation generally people call these terms in engineering stress strain diagram okay so we will see just within a within a uh, one one line okay so this is a state function okay because it has linear slope due to linear slope but this is a path function okay because slope changes at every stage of the curve okay so this is all about this video elastic deformation plastic deformation properties of material and this is all about the uniform elongation this is about uh, elastic reason and this is about the uh, work hardening reason that is plastic reason also and uh, this is about the yield point uts work hardening and this is uh, also the definition according to the curve that yield stress is elastic limit and proportional to limit okay so uh, kindly share subscribe our youtube channel and uh, like too and thank you